kept throwing small things at me while I tried to sleep. I couldn't sleep at all. My parents arrived at 4 a.m. in the morning to collect us. As soon as they arrived, I walked out of the house as quickly as I could. I left so fast that I didn't even bring my glasses and my phone. I just wanted to be out of there as fast as possible. I got into the car and sat in the back seat quietly while my mom and dad buckled Sarah and Cindy in the car. When they were saying goodbye to Miss Melanie, I glanced over and saw Tom standing behind her, staring at me, grinning. Later that day, after I had properly slept, I woke up and stared at the ceiling in disbelief. I felt so dirty, like I had done something really bad and disgusting. I thought about telling my mom, but I was too afraid that she wouldn't believe me. I mean, it's my word against his. Plus, what I did was so disgusting that maybe she would disown me. But as I laid there staring at the ceiling, I knew I couldn't do this all on my own. I needed her. So I gathered all my courage and walked into her room. Mom, I have to talk to you, I said when I walked in. And then I told her everything. As I was telling her, she was listening to me, but her eyes were tearing up. She was becoming more and more upset. When I was done, she held me tightly for so long and said, I'm sorry, honey. This is something I won't be able to give back to you, but we can still do something about it. And then she called the police. First, the police came to the house. They greeted my mom and spoke with her for a few minutes before coming to me. They told me and my mom that I had to go to the hospital together with them. When we got there, I had to go through what felt like the whole hospital accompanied by officers. Everyone was staring at me, wondering why I was there. Was she in an accident? Is she someone special? Did she do something wrong? Did someone take advantage of her? It was so hard. It felt excruciating. I disliked being around so many people so soon. When I sat down and waited to see a doctor, one of the officers came over and gave me some magazines. I can't read them, I told her. I left my glasses at his house. She looked at me sympathetically, put the magazines down, and went back to the other officer. After we were done there, they told me I had to go to another clinic. The same officers came over to us as we were getting into the car. Ma'am, she said, we'll drop you off at the clinic, but we'll give you your privacy, as it's not necessary for us to be there. Then she turned to me and said, but I will go over to his house to pick up your glasses and drop it off at the clinic for you, okay? I smiled and thanked her. I thought everything up to this point was already really overwhelming, but the clinic was the hardest part. There, I talked with a woman and had to tell her everything that happened to me. It was really hard. I still felt intense, unbearable guilt. Then, I was examined and had to sign up for an intensive care therapist. The next few months, my whole life revolved around what had happened. Therapy took up most of my days, and when it didn't, I didn't really feel like doing anything anyway. That summer, I didn't go outside at all and didn't talk to anyone else except for my family and my therapist. I just stayed inside and always kept to myself. And then, in September, the court meeting was finally called. My mom had high hopes that this boy would be put to justice. The entire day was just horrifying. Tom was there with his dad because his mom couldn't make it. I even had to take the stand to tell everyone what happened again. When I was up there, their lawyer was so cruel to me. He kept asking me questions that made it seem like it was my own fault. But I held it together because I didn't want Tom to see me cry or upset. But he just sat there, staring at me the same way he did that night, when he answered me, no. Then, their lawyer asked me, So, he asked you to follow him up to his room, and you agreed? Yes, because he asked me if I wanted to play a game with him on his phone, I answered. I didn't know he... He interrupted me. Just please confirm with us that you voluntarily went up with him to his room, he asked me. Yes, I answered, and looked down. Did you yell when he was, quote, on top of you, unquote? The lawyer asked me. No, I answered. I didn't call for help, but I was crying and begging him to get off me. Then he answered, yes, but you didn't yell. And if you were really being taken advantage of, you would have yelled so that someone could come save you. As I mentioned before, your honor, he turned to the judge. It's not just statistics that tell us that when a woman is about to be taken advantage of, she would yell for someone to help. She went upstairs in the middle of the night voluntarily with a boy she had been playing with all day. Your Honor, 
This is just teenagers being teenagers. No further questions. Then he turned around and sat down. The judge ruffled through some paperwork and then announced, Okay, I'm going to need a recess. Let's meet back in one hour. One hour had passed when we came back into the courtroom. Everyone sat down after the judge came back in, in anticipation of the verdict. As the judge was speaking, I couldn't help but glance over to Tom for a second. I think for the first time ever, he was actually scared. I find the defendant not guilty. Charges against the defendant are dismissed, but the defendant will still serve 12 months probation. My mom stood up and shouted, How could you accuse my daughter of lying against that little monster? All the evidence piled up against him, and you're just going to let him get away with what he did to my daughter? She kept shouting, but I looked over to Tom and his father, and they were both looking at me and laughing. Order, order, order in the court, the judge yelled, and then my mom stormed out. As I walked past them, they just stood there, smirking. I wanted to walk up to their stupid faces and scream and slap that smirk off their faces, but it didn't. I instead turned away and walked out to find my mother. It has been about half a year since the whole thing happened, and I'm getting better. I started going outside. I don't need therapy anymore, and I'm not too scared to go inside in public places. I want everyone that listens to this story to know that it is never your fault. There are very bad people out there, like Tom, but just know they will get what is coming to them. It's not about legal or illegal. It's about right versus wrong. Never be too scared to speak out. Your body belongs to you, and no one should be able to take that away from you. lockdown. Did you hear that, dude? Someone is screaming. One team called the experience so traumatic it changed my life. see behind me, you're probably wondering where the hell I'm at. I'm actually at the Clown Hotel in Tonopah, uh, Nevada, but that's going to be for a separate video. I don't know if I'm going to post that video first or this video first, whatever it might be, but I'm at the Clown Motel. I'm going to be filming a video here, but this is not what the video is about. This is not about the Clown Hotel, or the Clown Motel, I should say. This right here is about Randonautica. So I'm here with my buddy. Yeah, it's just, that's what I'm saying. It's just desert. Like, yeah. like when everybody does this app, you're actually... In your hometown. You know where or you know where you're at. Like, we don't know we are. who we're at, honestly. We're across the country. Probably. Yeah, I know. We're, we're like two, three thousand miles away from like what we call home. So, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, sketched out right now. Real quick, before we get into this video, I just want to give a couple of shout outs to everyone who ordered merch the past few days. So, if you don't know, the brand shopmotivated.com, that is me. I actually signed and autographed every single one of your orders. The first order is going out to Victoria from Iowa, Roseanne from Florida, Mona from Texas, Tina from Ohio, Ashley from New York, Carolyn from Alabama, Kimberly from Texas, Stephanie from Tennessee, Sandra from Texas, Angelica from Texas, Jeff from Florida, Sarah from Texas, Joanne from Minnesota, Kimberly from North Carolina, Janet from Illinois, Natalie from Maryland, Jane from Arkansas, Amber from California, Betty from Illinois, Catherine from Kansas, Tina from Australia, Mary from Nevada, Jennifer from Pocomo, 
Public City, Maryland. Nice That's what's scaring me. That's what I'm saying. There's like no car whatsoever. The population of the city is like 2,400. Yeah, 2,700 and something. Yeah. Supposed to be looking for. I seriously don't understand this app. Well, the house to the Can I say my intent? I think you say it now. I don't think that's a good thing. My intent was evil. Yeah. See, my intent was evil last time, and we found a person like drugged out. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It was, I really hope we don't find a person here. I don't, honestly don't really look like we're going to. Someone you help. What if someone you help? They're screaming. I don't know if you do that. 
Holy okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No shit, I heard it that time. What the hell, bro? Okay. Turn on my light. Um, yeah, 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 just uh Hold that. Let's get our hats off the dash. That's my camera. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. What the was that? Yo. Something just hit the bar, bro. Dude. Do we run up or something? Someone is screaming. Nobody's back there. Not that I see. There is somebody screaming on the screen. This time. How about I do it this time huh. and I don't tell you what it is. I just They think I'm dead. Well not. I am much alive. Well this is my son's house, huh? It's time to break in and smash some shit. Okay, you pick rocket. There you are. Now these, this can't break, okay. I put these, you know, by the windows. Can break, but okay, so let me grab. Let me grab. Mirai. That, that, that. <laughs> I guess it's time to smash that. Just to teach him, you know, just to show him I'm still alive. He tried to kill me in, and it didn't work. Uh-huh. 
guess let's go now quickly before he comes back. Guess let's go home, wake up morning and go to school. Oh fuck. Guess let's go inside. Okay, so someone have been been here. I don't know who, but someone smashed my TV. Someone had been here. Okay. Oh well. Guess let's go to bed and wake up morning for school, I guess. What's the time? Okay, 5.03 a.m. Nice, I guess. I guess let's head to school now. Here we are. I guess where it's buddy, you know. Go to school. Great. No bitch, fuck off. Here we are, here we are, at, at the high school, here we are. <sighs> I guess we're at Twitch YouTube, and yeah, smoke some weed.
understand why there's a car. Oh no, they turn around. That was weird. So which way do I go? Wait, I gotta turn left into this neighborhood? Wait, 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 wait. What is this? What is this? Hold up. Where are you? Dude, we're nowhere near that though. You have a child. Uh, you have a child. No wishing. Yeah, wishing. I need you to. Here's the drugs, and I need you to deal. Not now, but after school. Okay, cool. Shit, yeah, so, shit. Yeah. And here's my client's numbers. All them. Okay? Okay, shit. Sure. Shit. Sure. Oh yeah, I cannot fucking believe it, I'm a drug dealer now, hell yeah buddy, I'm a drug dealer, yeah boy, I'm a motherfucking drug dealer, I'm a motherfucking drug dealer guys, hell yeah. Yeah, buddy. So we're turning back on the road that we just came yeah. off of. Wait, it's, it's giving us the same exact location, right? No. Uh, well, wait, yeah, guys. Right, there's no way. If that's the case, I that's cannot weird. believe it. Hell yeah. No, it's miles away. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, definitely yeah, that's not the same one. So here's what my GPS is saying. Prepare to park your car near Smoky Valley Road, and then we gotta walk some distance. Oh man, hell yeah. Holy Quite the distance, shit. actually. With all kinds of crazy little animals out here, and rattlesnakes and scorpions. Really? Yeah, buddy. Have like a joint and then I have another around. joint and then have a smoke. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, buddy. So right now we're on another dirt road. This is not the same one that we were just on uh, a few minutes ago. That car went by us flying. Because we found a little path that you can get up near where the, where the location is. We've got a, a situation at hand. We're not really sure what the f*** is going on right now, dude. Dude, what? What in the hell is going on? Dude, okay, so what, what is going on? Hold on. Like, what is going on right now? I have no idea. So... so Go ahead and explain, because I don't even understand what the hell is going on. Yeah, hello. Oi, guess what? Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Amanda. Hey, guess what? What? I am pregnant. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, cool. When? Ah, uh, ah, uh, are we having the sun or a daughter? They don't know yet. It sure should, it, it should show up, it should show up, today is Wednesday, so it should show up, Thursday, Friday, it should show up Friday, which, which, you know, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Fuck, you know what I mean. Okay, so I, I guess let's go park it here. And then... Go... In my house. I guess let's go to bed. And wake up money for school. What's the time? Okay, 5 a.m. Nice. Guess let's head to school and yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Today should be the big reveal at the hospital to see if I'm having a daughter or a son or a daughter and a son. See. Or two daughters or two sons. Hopefully, I will uh, have a daughter and a son. Like, hopefully, I have, you know, a daughter, a daughter and a son. Hopefully, like, hopefully, can't. I'm gonna knock, knock him the fuck out. Get up. Get the fuck up. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Go on. Hit me. Hit me. Boom, boom. Hit me again. Hit me. Hit me again. Go on. Hit me. Hit me. Boom, boom. Knock you the fuck out. Now let's pick up my glasses. Let's pick up my glasses now. Here we are. Guess what, buddy? Head over here. Let's YouTube and smoke some weed, I guess. Dude, is they at the car? Yeah, not happening, Jack. What the Boring. Yo, that was you have all your hey. We we have been a boy and a girl. Hell yeah, so a daughter and a son. Yep. Nice uh, so you know, one girl, one boy, nice. So when 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 will will they you know when you know, it should be, it should be this Monday coming up. Eh, uh, cool. Do you want to come in the hospital? Or you're, you're okay, you're tough. I'm tough, I can handle it. Just stay at school. Oh good, yep, I will. Okay, thanks. See ya. See ya. Oh, hell yeah. Look at all these bugs in here, too. Hmm. Roll the windows down. Roll the windows down. I guess we'll smoke some weed. Turn off our lights, too. Keep the windows all down. There's all these bugs in here. Keep recording. Yeah. Pull my camera, too. Something else might have hit the car. All these freaking bugs, bro. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, there, there was something else that hit the mirror. The, the, I don't think the mirror, like, was what hit us. I really don't know. No, there's no way. What about with the glass busted that far away? I mean, that, that's not even plausible. Maybe. All right. Do you want to go park the car and think about what to do next? Yeah. All right. Okay, so... I don't really know what to say right now, other than that it's been a little strange so far, uh, to say the least. Um, we're going to, what was it, what would this be, the third? This would be third. the third coordinate, so we're going to go to the third coordinate now, just kind of see what's going on, really. But, um, yeah, buddy. Uh, all right, want to go ahead and put those in? So while Jazz is fixing his camera, I've been like, I'm crying because I'm like, that was actually terrifying, dude. Um, yeah, was. One of the opinions I have of this app is um, maybe an unpopular one, but like nothing really is adding up here. So like I, other than every video I've ever seen on the internet, there has been people that have been like people have been stalked every video I've watched there's been like somebody stalking them you know what Guess I mean how yeah. smoke. so like then, yeah. here, here's here's my take on it um, I personally think that there is uh, there's obviously a tracker on everyone's phone they can see your location at all times and, and me personally I actually think that there are people that are uh, working alongside this app or working for this app, um, maybe trying to scare people. I, I don't know. Maybe this is a scare tactic that people are trying to pull off. I, I, don't, I don't really know. But again, I'm not educated enough on this to, to give, in my opinion, one way or the other. I'm still like right there in the middle right now. I, I, I don't really know. So um, Jazz is going to put his... Um, his uh, app on it, or not put his app on the phone, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, Jazz is going to pull the app back up on his phone, and um, definitely going to try another location, just to see, if, if there's another person at this location, or if we notice like the same cars again, um, to me that means somebody's tracking us off of his phone, that can, uh, that's the only thing that could be going on, I mean really, how else do you explain any of this? Good point. Like I was just telling my viewers, I think something's up. Is that that book? No, it was amazing. I'm, I'm sketched out by every part of the I know, me too. I I'm actually terrified. I, I think, here, here's my opinion on, on this whole app, is I think that since, I think it tracks you, and I think there may or may not be people who are hired to, maybe not hired, maybe that wouldn't be the right word, but are in association with this app that are, I don't know, that are maybe trying to pull something, you know what I mean? Or, or maybe it's just a scare tactic, maybe they're just trying to like scare kids and shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sorry, I'm scared to stop. I am too. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I think that there's a darker side to this app. Now, there's many reasons I say that, but the number one reason I say this is, think of all the other apps that have gained popularity for the wrong reason. I'm talking, talking to Angela. Yeah, like you remember that. Yep. Whole, yeah, that was a whole fiasco right, there. Right. Um, there's a lot of theories. Okay, so the last one that we just did, the last uh, random article location, my insight was conspiracy. I didn't tell yeah. you it was conspiracy. Okay. Because I feel like there's so many conspiracies going around right now that it would be insane that if it brought us... That's true. Right, so... I think I'm going to roll with that intent again. I want to see and result. I don't know, dude. Like your phone's in the car, though, right? My phone. Okay, so it can't hear us. Just the putting that out there. Yeah. yeah. And it's not on the app anyway. The app is shut down. That may be it. That's it. There's a dude with a flashlight. Literally through the set. I don't know. 